Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's take a look at a pretty basic optimization technique for 3D rendering. Now, here's the deal. Let's say I have just a simple cube. Technically, a cube is made of six faces. So what that means is to render this cube, I'll need to draw basically all six faces. But do I really need to do that? I mean, just take a look at this clip of me spinning a cube around. You realize that out of the six faces of a cube, three of them are always hidden, no matter which direction you actually, you know, look at a cube from. What this means is if we don't draw the hidden faces, we achieve some degree of optimization. Sure, getting rid of three out of six faces doesn't sound like a lot, but what if my scene was made up of a hundred thousand cubes? So you see, this sort of optimization can be pretty powerful. In the vast majority of 3D scenes, you can only see half of every single object. So getting rid of those hidden faces can actually confer quite a huge optimization. The technique in which this is done is called backface cowling. To put it in very simple terms, we simply need to know where the camera or where the viewer is in the scene. Then if we were to look at all the faces that you know the camera would be looking at, half the faces are actually inside out, or the back side of the face is actually facing the camera. In a vast majority of cases, if a face is in such a state, you don't even have to try and render it because it is at the opposite side of the mesh. This is essentially what backface cowling exploits, and that is how it achieves optimization. Of course, this is tricky and can be associated with some artifacts. For example, the way in which OpenGL actually recognizes whether faces are front-facing or back-facing depends on the order in which you specify the vertices. So let's say we have a very simple plane here. If I were to specify the vertices in this order, this counterclockwise order, then the front face is in this direction. So if you ever look at a face and you realize that the vertices were specified in a clockwise manner, then that is the back face. What this means is there is room for error. If I accidentally specify my vertices in the wrong order, what you get is a very interesting artifact where the front facing faces, that is the faces that are closer to you, actually get back face culled. They're actually removed. Because of course, you specify the vertices in the wrong order and they are interpreted as back faces. You see through the mesh to the actual back faces, creating a very strange inside out kind of feel. So there you have it. This is an extremely long episode of Friday Minis, but I did want to, you know, show you the effects of back face cowling going wrong. But yeah, that's all there is for this particular episode. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.